Hello, how are you doing? So today we're going to be making this beef dish. This is nashif, beef nashif. You can make chicken nashif and lamb nashif. Nashif basically kind of means it's cooked with tomatoes, but it's quite dry. It's got some lovely, lovely Arabic or Middle Eastern flavors in there. Let's get on with it. Welcome back once again to How to Cook Great. So I've got some beef here, like one kg or a couple of pound of beef. It's quite a good quality. There's no bone in there, it's just, just cubed meat. One decent sized onion sliced, two tomatoes cut nice and small, try and use a nice ripe tomato, two tablespoons of garlic chopped, 135 grams or one of those little kind of tetra packs of tomato paste, one teaspoon of green cardamom powder, two teaspoons of black lemon powder. Let me show you that. That's black lemon powder. You can get it in the whole form like that. You kind of need the powder for this one. And then two or three teaspoons of cumin powder. We're going to start this off with some olive oil. We're going to add a bit of salt and pepper. So I've got a pan here. You need a pot or a pan. I've got some olive oil in there. Heat is on. Let's drop in our beef. And you can kind of see the kind of size that I've cut that. Like I say, a little bit of fat's beautiful, no bone. Now we're gonna fry this just for about four minutes on quite a high heat. And then I'm gonna go through a process. I'm gonna add some water and we're gonna boil it until the water evaporates because we need this super, super tender. So I'll be back in about four minutes. Then we're gonna do the water process. So we've just got a little bit of colour on here. Salt, black pepper. Then we're gonna add the water. Want enough water there to just not quite cover it, but you know, plenty of water. Now, high heat, boil it out until like I say, the water evaporates, not completely, but yeah, and that will really give this meat a beautiful, beautiful head start. Really. Now, now for example, if you're using a nice kind of, you know, filet steak or a nice kind of sirloin or something like that, you don't have to do this process. This is a stewing cut of beef. It's going to probably take about 15 minutes, but it's really worth it. It's going to really make our meat super tender. Okay, so like 15 minutes, that really has helped it out. Now, if you've got a really, really tough piece of meat, a kind of low quality, you could pressure cook it for like 20 or 30 minutes maybe, I don't know, that really sort of soften it up. I mean, this is not that bad, it's actually quite good, it's just not a frying steak. Yeah, that's really helped out. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop in our onion, sliced onion there, our garlic, plenty of garlic. I'm gonna add a bit more salt and pepper. And we're now gonna add the tomato. Like I say, try and use a nice ripe tomato. About five minutes now, stay on a nice lively heat, you know, above medium. Wanna fry these mushrooms, uh, sorry, the onions and the garlic and cook down those tomatoes as much as we can. So those tomatoes are cooking really nicely. We're now gonna add our spices. So that's two teaspoons of cumin, one of the black lemon, and half a teaspoon of the cardamom, green cardamom. Next up, and the final item is the tomato paste. 135 grams there, one of those little Tetra Pak guys. Okay, now we're gonna stay on quite a lively heat. And we're gonna go for about five minutes now. What we wanna do is cook this tomato paste out. And it will thin out a little bit. And then this will be ready. And you can see that we've got some darkening on the 
paste, it's cooked really nicely. Off goes the heat, little bit, tiny amount, cilantro or coriander, whatever you call that. That's it, job done. Let me get that on the plate for you. And there it is, a beautiful, nice and tender, nice dry fried beef with a lovely selection of flavours in there. Hope you enjoy that. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Thank you so, so much for checking out our videos. Um, we're currently steaming ahead to actually reaching nearly 100 million views, which is fantastic. I think we've got over 3,000 uploads now. We've really been going at it since I think 2012 we started back in the day. But yeah, thanks so much for watching our videos. Please do give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out a great deal. And also leave a comment. We do like to hear from you. Now, um, what we've been up to, so lots going on. We're now based in Bahrain. We're here for a little while uh, in the kitchen here, which is fantastic. We're having a great time. Kids are really enjoying themselves. We are cooking away at a rapid rate, trying to do this new series called Eating with Locals, where I want to go and eat with different, you know, people from different nationalities and eat their food and have a little chat, see if I can learn something. Hoping this COVID thing is going to shift don't know when it's going to happen but maybe soon if it does i'm going to get back on the road you know i want to get back on an airplane as i'm sure many of you do as well and get out there and sort of you know see the sights taste some food and meet some people it would be fantastic if you would buy us a cup of coffee help us along with the channel we're not funded in any way we're self-funded we don't endorse any products uh, there's a link down below if you would like to buy me a coffee a couple of dollars or whatever you want, just follow the link. That would be fantastic. That's about it, we're doing great. Uh, we hope that you're doing fine and we'll see you soon. Lots of love.